I've come to my local forest today because it's a very dull day and it's promising the rain later as well. So I better take this opportunity now to rush out and see what I can get. Sadly though, it's too cold for any insects really and we're coming towards the end of the insect season being very late in August here. But it's too early to go out and photograph mushrooms because they're not up yet. Yeah, and the canopy is still too dense to photograph little birds. So what I figured I'd do is I'd come to this local woodland, as I said, and I'll try and see if I can find some more intimate scenes of perhaps the beginnings of autumn and what promises to come in terms of colours and what have you. But it's still very, very green, So, but maybe I can do something with the green and a juxtaposition with something that uh, is of a different colour, a more autumn type colour. So come along and let's see what we can get. So I'm going to try and work this scene with the log here. Because the log is covered with moss and it's covered with little leaves and I thought yeah there's probably a composition somewhere in here. I just need to work it a little bit and see what works the best. It's definitely going to be focused act and I'm probably going to use a fairly low shot speed as well but there's no wind at least it's low down so I'm going to give this one a go and see how we end up. Right so what I've found here is a rather attractive leaf that has fallen down and is uh, now in autumn colours and combined with the moss around it and uh, what have you I think this could uh, make for a good uh, composition so let me show you what I'm talking about in the camera here let me try and stabilize the camera a little bit so you can see the leaf there and you can see the moss and it kind of sticks out and is a good focal point so let's see how I did The sun has kind of decided to come out a little bit as well today but I found this absolutely lovely little scene where a leaf has uh, fallen on top of some holly leaves so you get the sharp pointy bits of the holly and then the round yellow colourful leaf that's fallen on top and I thought that would make a great composition. With the sun out a little bit, sort of muted light, I think we can make something of the way that the light catches these leaves. Of course, as soon as I start talking about it, it grows a little dimmer. But you can see the light is changing constantly. So let me see what I can do with this little scene. Yes, yeah, so I think I found a couple of uh, compositions here as a matter of fact let me show you the one that i'm working on now in the camera so we have this leaf in the center here and to the left we have this <coughs> broken off stump of wood and then we have the lush green grass still which makes the whole thing very verdant and lovely so what we're waiting for now is for the light to come through because when the light hits the leaf it turns red and that adds this extra dash of colour into the picture that I really want. You can see what's happening uh, a little bit here in the camera now so let me take the picture.
looking at the weather is starting to look a little bit unsafe to be out with camera equipment it's going to start raining very very soon so i think we'll cut it there but hopefully i manage to get some lovely pictures i don't know yet because i haven't seen them and i haven't processed them but of course by this time you will have seen them so until next time see you then thank you so much for watching